Hi, Susie Dingle here, coming to you from probably the last remaining clean spot in my house and my garden. I'm going outside of my comfort zone to do a something I've, different I've never done before as far as cleaning up my garden. But first I want to say a huge thank you to the viewers and subscribers that have made this channel flourish. We're coming up on a thousand subscribers, which is in YouTube land a very big deal. Beyond YouTube though, it means something more to me. Beyond the fact that you have contributed to the success by subscribing and watching and sharing the videos and engaging in them by commenting and of course liking the videos. Beyond that, I'm grateful for each of you for being a garden buddy. I'm grateful for you and this channel because it's brought a new breed of virtual garden friends. And as we share our lives and our garden stories, I know that it's brought me a tremendous amount of joy and I hope it has for you too. Now I could go on about the virtues of gardeners for a very long time, but I'll save that for a different video for now. I just wanted to say a huge thank you and let you know what I'm up to this much month because it's really something different. I am beginning a self-imposed tiny task garden challenge. Have I ever done a challenge? I don't know that I've even ever done a challenge before. So this is challenging me to do my first challenge in addition to getting a handle on my garden out there. So why am I doing it? The circumstances of my life this last summer um, made it so that I had to be away from the garden. I think some of you already know that. And although I had someone helping a little bit here or there, it was by no means what I would have done. The garden's just frankly gotten away from me. It's a wild garden anyway, a cottage garden, but it's now especially wild. I also don't have the time. I have other things going on in my life. I'm not a full-time gardener. So those things are taking precedent over the garden right now and it's interfering with my normal, the normal way that I do my work in a garden. Normally I arrange it so that I have big blocks of time because I'm a project person, I'm a completionist. So not a perfectionist, but a completionist. When I start a task, I want to get it all the way done. Those meant long, long days and if I got dirty, I wanted to get dirty for one day and not you know, many days in a row. So I decided to tackle the garden one tiny project at a time. And for the next at least 30 days, and probably a little longer than that, I'm going to be going out in the garden every single day and doing something, whether it be five minutes or five hours, we'll see. But whatever it is, it's going to advance the cause. I'll be posting my videos every single day, my short videos. Here's a list I'm going to put up here of the types of tasks that I expect to be doing. And they go beyond pruning and weeding and planting and cleaning. And beyond those basic chores that we have, those tasks that generally come up, I'll also be doing some nurturing, which is feeding the plants and giving remedies for pests and disease and uh, watering them and mulching them, adding amendments. I'm going to try my hand at repairing a few things from some broken branches. I hope that works. And also some just broken items. I've got a broom that needs to be rebuilt. Hmm. I've been wanting to do that for months. And then, of course, I'll be harvesting the remaining, the gleanings from the garden. I've already gotten some grapes and some blueberries, and I'm really, really happy about that. One thing I will always be doing in the garden, regardless of this challenge or not, is trying to engage all my senses. I can't always do it, but the five senses when I'm looking at the garden, trying to as assess and modify my plans and make decisions about what I need to do next. And especially that sense of the guiding principle that I have is I want to create a peaceful garden. I want it to be fun. 
but I also want it to be peaceful and invite nature in, invite the insects and the birds and other animals in. So with the circumstances and the time constraints, it's time for me to break those old patterns and learn a new way. This may become a permanent feature of my gardening life. I kind of hope so, because I think it's a good idea at this stage in my life where my body can't do what it used to do. And I expect that I'll always have some kind of time constraint. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Somehow I don't think so. It's fall here, which means the weather is changing rapidly. There'll probably be a lot of rain and wind. I don't know what to expect, we'll see. But I'm going out there, out here, right out there, every day. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try. And I'm more focused on that than I am on the outcome. If I focused on the outcome with this piece of property right now in the state it's in, I would lose my mind. Hence, I created this challenge. I suspect that probably many of you have these kinds of items on your list to do also. And I hope that we can be an encouragement to each other. And if you want to join in the challenge, I would love to hear about that. That would be so much fun. You could invite, I don't know, your master gardeners or your garden group or neighbors or your kids. You know, kids love to have that instant gratification of having accomplished something and builds their confidence and builds confidence in me too. I like that. So for now, over the challenge, expect shorts every day and then I'll be putting in some longer videos as I can and also as perhaps some milestones come up. I think there's a few things to celebrate be on the fact that we might reach some new YouTube numbers. And again, for that, I am so grateful. Thank you all. And until next time, and there'll be many next times over this next month, keep dreaming in the garden. Right out there is the home of the new potager. It's going to be a big project. So we'll see if we can get to that after the tiny task garden challenge. Okay, I'll start right now. These are some hosta leaves. Oh, I don't have my produce. But these are hostas right here growing in a window box. And uh, I don't want to rip them out, so I'll have to wait. But um, here, I'm pulling a few weeds. I can do that. Ta da! Let's see if I can hit a compost pile over there. It's not really a compost pile, it's just my weed pile. I did it. <laughs> That's a good beginning. <laughs>